Hey friends, Mike Adams here with Navajo Generating Station Remembered. I wanted to make a short video for you and just show you an update of the aerial view of the NGS plant site. These photos that I'm showing you, at least this first one here, is from this month, July of 2022. I'm not sure when the second one was. I'm assuming it's relatively um, current as well because everything pretty much looks identical as this first photo. But check this out. Look at this. This is this photo was sent to me again just the other day. It's a very recent photo. You can see that the area where the power block was is just flattened. There's nothing there now. There's no remnants of any kind of power production or baseload units that used to sit there. You can see up here that the service water pond is still there. There's no indication of unit one or two cooling towers anymore. I'm not sure what this little round thing is right here. I'm going to kind of bring this in a little bit different here. I'm not sure what this round deal is. Maybe somebody knows and you can tell me, leave a comment or whatever. But you can see that the vat ponds are, have evaporated. They're disappearing. They're on their way out. And again, this area here that used to be the power block is no more. We still have an admin building. We still have a, a remnants of a maintenance building. The 500 yard, of course, is still intact. It's going, to, it's going to remain that way, I'm sure. There's no indication anymore of Unit 3 cooling towers. Let me move down here a little bit. Uh, they, you know, that's been gone away with too, or done away with too. So gone away, did I just say gone away? That's been done away with as well. And I guess the process of clearing that off is going to continue. If we come up here a little bit, you can see the what was the coal pile with the uh, stacker reclaimer that used to be there. I spent a lot of hours in that thing. I used to call it the stacker recliner, and I don't think I was alone in naming it that. You can see the engine house here. You can see the loop with the train. I heard that the tribe is going to keep the train there and maybe use it as some kind of a, uh, a tourist thing. I think that'd be good income for the tribe if they did that. And plus, it would keep the memory of the Black Mesa Lake Powell Railroad um, alive a little bit longer. But as we move around this picture, I'm just kind of scanning through it. You can see here the, the main entrance of the plant and security was here. I'm not sure what else was in these buildings. This was after my time. But there's that second entrance right here. We're going to talk about that in more detail here in just a moment in another picture that I'm going to show you. But this is basic, a basic aerial shot of what the plant site looks like right now. You can see out here the tailings for the fly ash. I'm sure that's all going to get covered up and go away as well. But wait, that's not all. This area right, right in here where I said there was a power block, what used to sit in that area is this in the event that you're not familiar with it. And you can see here there's the maintenance building again, the admin building. This is when the plant was in production. Service water pond right there. You can see vat ponds in the background. You can see there, unit, unit one, part of unit two cooling towers. You can see the coal pile in the background over here. This is a different aerial shot that was sent to me that basically shows the same thing as that first shot, but a different angle. This has got actually a little bit better resolution to it. Here's the main entrance over here as you come in right here. I'm going to zoom in a bit so we can see this a little bit better. Right here again is a maintenance building and the old admin building. This area that's been leveled right in here again was the power block. Service water pond still there. And again, I'm curious to know what this round thing is right here. I don't really know. Right here kind of in the center of the picture is where the old coal pile was with the uh, stacker recliner. And the engine house is still there. The Black Mesa Lake Powell railroad tracks are still in place. And you can see that the evap ponds are slowly evaporating or have evaporated and I'm sure will soon be covered up. So that's just another perspective, another aerial shot of the NGS plant site. You can see Paige in the background there, Lake Powell uh, to the right. But let me show you a little bonus picture that I have pulled up for you here. This is the same site. This is the NGS site when it was under construction. So I'm thinking this picture, based on the progress of construction, is probably around 1970-ish, very early on in the construction. And that area where the power block used to sit 
is actually right here. Let me zoom into this a little bit. It's actually right here. And you can see unit one, two, and three uh, under construction, mostly unit one at this point, with a little bit on unit two and the foundations of the turbine deck, it looks like on unit three. But this area right here is what's been cleared off in those other photos. This building right here was the main warehouse initially and the building attached to it on the left side of the warehouse was the old Bechtel offices. Of course, there was a parking lot down here. You had different trades set up pretty much in this area right here. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see that the Unit 1 and 2 cooling tower construction has begun. Looks like the foundations have been dug out. You can see the, the uh, service water pond's been dug out. You also see the trenching for the circ water lines from the cooling towers going to Unit 1 and 2. Not much beyond that out here. There's no fuel oil station yet, none of that. There's a loop here where the railroad track's eventually going to go. The engine house is not there yet, but the hole is being dug for the coal hopper. And it looks like nothing's been dug out yet for the conveyor belts coming up from underground. None of that's in there yet. But, get back over here a little bit. You can see what looks like the beginnings of coal control right here. Just a very early photo of the construction of NGS. And we're looking north to south, northish to southish in this photo. And if we come back over here to Unit 3, you can see the Unit 3 cooling towers are not there yet. These buildings right here were the Bur uh, Burtco buildings. This one that sat on the edge and kind of overlooked the uh, plant site was the cafeteria. Served very good food. And the two long buildings were barracks. It seems like a third one went in at some point, but maybe I'm imagining that. This square building to the left of the barracks was the Burtco offices. Burtco, again, was the company that provided security for the plant as it was being built. And then if we scroll up here, remember those buildings that were there that I mentioned security was in there, and I'm not sure what else was in those buildings because that was after my time. Those replaced this. This tiny little dot right here was the wooden security guard shack that sat at the main entrance. I spent a lot of hours in that shack as I worked for Burtco. And then I told you that second entrance that's up there, you can't really see it on this picture yet. That entrance probably hadn't really been built yet, but it eventually would be. And that entrance was an entrance into this area, which was the laydown yard for the different crafts. It looks kind of small in this picture, but it was actually quite large. But that served as the laydown yard for the different crafts during the construction of the power plant. So I wanted to show this to you. I thought about it when I saw those other pictures and I thought, you know, I've got this photo buried in here somewhere. I need to dig it up and I need to share it with you all. So this is the uh, plant site for Navajo Generating Station, circa 1970-ish, when it was just getting started under construction. So that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and leave your comments below and tell me what you're thinking. Adios.